see what's on the radio. What up, internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne versus Cooking. I have actually been out of town, and I was a slacker and didn't do a video last week. I feel really bad about it because Rob stepped in like the champion that he is, and he's pretty tired. So I want to do something nice for him. I'm gonna go to the store right now and pick up all of the ingredients that I need to make him breakfast in bed. And you know what? His favorite thing to eat is you're gonna be surprised by this avocado toast. Yeah, I know. You're probably like, wow, this video is gonna be. And exciting. I'm not just gonna make avocado toast. No, we can't do that here on this show. I'm gonna make the most beautiful fucking avocado toast you've ever seen in your life. Hopefully. I saw this lady's post on Instagram and she makes some amazing stuff. I'm pretty impressed by it. So I'm gonna try to emulate that. Plus she lives in Amsterdam so I'm pretty much sure she's high all the time because why else would you make avocado toast that looks like this? High as fuck. Let's get started shall we? Step one, drive to the store. Do not cross right now. No, 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 no. Why is she crossing right there? And this person, a turn signal. Oh, my Lanta. Road rage. I don't have road rage. I'm very calm. Step two, go shopping. Bags, check. Germs, in check. That's right. No zombie virus happening to me today. Hmm. The avocados are not really looking ripe enough, but I was told if you put them in a brown paper bag, they ripen faster, so the more you know. Avocados, check. Hip milk. Now we just need some delicious bread, and boom, this rosemary bread is actually Rob's favorite bread in the whole wide world, so getting that. It's all about Rob today. I think I got everything we need. Step two, accomplished. Now I'm heading to a place called Hickory Nutcat Farm to pick up some eggs, because I wanna make this breakfast extra special. This farm is truly cage-free and free-range. All of their animals are ethically raised. It's not too far away from my house, and it makes me so happy. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? You get to see the chicken, and the little goats, and all the little piggies. Oh my goodness, so cute. Hi, come here. Want some more? Winning. Yes, you're a good goat. Well, we're best friends now. Goat selfie. A goat feet, if you will. Right? Bye bye. Hashtag wish this was my farm. Thanks, Hickory Nut Gap. All right, time to get that prep done. I'm pretty sure Rob should be working right now in the workshop room, so you're not gonna see me with all this stuff. Alrighty, eat it home. What the f is this? You know how terrible this stuff is for you? Nope. You in here? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Working. How much longer you got? How fucking long is a piece of string? Alrighty then. So you gonna be in here for a while? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Okay. Weirdo. Okay, so tonight I'm going to prep as much as I can so I don't have to wake up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. First, I am pickling red onions in some red wine vinegar, agave syrup, and sesame seeds. Boom! In the fridge, that goes. Rob loves fresh squeezed orange juice, so I'm gonna sit here and hand squeeze some orange juice for him. This is a f***ing workout, holy shit. And he also hates pulp, so I gotta strain this shit. And you know what? This is how much juice you get from juicing this many oranges. Totally worth it. Moving on. I saw this video the other day by Julia on HGTV Handmade, and I thought it was so effing cute. So I got us a cantaloupe, and I have this bat-shaped cookie cutter that I think is gonna really be an awesome way to start the day. Who doesn't want to think of Batman when they wake up in the morning? Unfortunately, my bat cookie cutter is too big for the cantaloupe. So apparently, no, we cantaloupe. But that's all right, I have a melon baller because only cool people have melon ballers. Next, I made some coffee in the French press. Rob hates drinking hot liquids. So I have to transfer this to a pitcher, add some agave syrup, then add that mixture to an ice cube tray. This one will do the job nicely. And they're shaped like coffee beans. It doesn't get better than that. 
I also added some of this coconut-based dairy-free milk and then put it in the fridge. Last thing I wanna do to prep today is to test out an avocado flour. It actually seems pretty easy. All you gotta do is cut open an avocado very carefully because your knife is super sharp. Then you just scoop it out with the spoon like this. This isn't my first avocado rodeo. Okay, then you very carefully slice the avocado into very thin slices, making sure everything stays in its little place. And lastly, you just kind of shape it into a flower-like situation. I think this avocado's a little too ripe, actually. It's one I already had before I went shopping, so I think this will work better with the not-as-ripe avocados that I have for tomorrow. Just gonna douse this with some lemon and put it away for later use. Feeling pretty confident at this point. I'm gonna leave the rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow, take this shit out to the compost like a motherfucking earth goddess. Hmm. I think I need to be paying a little bit more attention to this compost situation. <sighs> Shh, it's too early for that. Yeah, okay, so the first thing on the agenda is go searching for some edible flowers. I'm thinking these have probably been peed on more than once and by more than one animal. Yeah. These, however, are ripe for the picking, but I'm so nervous. My neighbor's house. They're totally home, too. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna do is cut up some mango. Kinda hard to cut mango. Now I'm adding the mango to the blender with some blueberries, some banana, and this coconut-based dairy alternative, and bam, breakfast smoothie. Next, I am toasting the bread, and then I'm just gonna fry one of my beautiful little eggs in some coconut oil. This pan, by the way, is the best for frying a single egg. Love this pan. Now I am adding some of this local jam to one of the pieces of toast, and some of Rob's favorite mayonnaise to this other piece of toast. Looking good. Next, I'm topping that with a mixture of the pickled onion that we made yesterday and the failed avocado flour. Okay, whoo, everything's coming together. Oh, gets really stressful at this point. Just trying to make an avocado flour for the jam slice, and I think this avocado is a little too ripe. It's not really turning into a flour formation, so I'm gonna abort that mission and just do this situation, which is still very pretty. And when I add the flour on top, pff, it's amazing. Lastly, just gonna put the egg on top of the other piece with a little bit of my favorite sriracha. And yeah, this looks pretty dang good. Wait, I think I'm missing something. Oh yeah, the coffee. Just gotta get a glass real quick. Wait, hold on. Where are all my wine glasses? Please don't tell me they're in the dishwasher. Told them a million times they can't go in the dishwasher. That's how they break. Oh, hell no. Fuck. My grandma gave us these wine glasses. I like dining al fresco. Mmm, <laughs> uh, this looks delicious. All for me. Mmm. Mmm, good. Mmm, mm, cheers. Good. Oh yeah, coffee is coursing through my veins. Yum. Let's try this egg toast. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, delicious. What the f is that? Oh hi. What the f? How did you sleep? Good. That looks fucking delicious. What is that? Breakfast. I worked pretty hard on it. Is that cantaloupe? Uh huh. It's really good too. Did you make me any? I left yours in on the counter in there. Awesome. Sweet. Yep. Mmm. The avocado with the jam is the jam. You knew that joke was coming. Is that it? Yep, that's your breakfast. You like Wonder Bread so much. Uh-huh. Every time I go out of town, this f***ing bread. Plus, where are my wine glasses? They're in the dishwasher. No, no. Yeah. Bye. I love Wonder Bread. Enjoy it. I know I'm enjoying myself. Ah! That was uncalled for. That Oh, hell no. Alrighty then, I think that is it for this week. I really don't know what the point of this video was, but hopefully you learned something. I had a good time. Make sure to leave a comment below saying which projects you wanna see on the show. Cause otherwise you're getting sh like avocado toast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like up this video, and I'll see you later. Okay, love you, bye.